I'm Jerry Hamilton, a former pastor at Skyline Baptist Church, retired last year. I'd like to introduce you, Mike, and so let's start with that, Mike. Introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Mike Potesha. I'm the father of Casey Wire. Um, I'm a 1982 graduate of the United States Coast Guard Academy, Federal Academy in Connecticut, which demands the highest standard of integrity of uh, for any of its uh, graduates. If you want to graduate, you will be an honorable person. What's your present employment, Mike? At uh, about 11.40 in the morning, I flew into the airport uh, in here in North Bend. And you saw Casey's mother right away? Um, I was picked up at the airport by my wife, and uh, she, she was extremely alar alarmed. I had been uh, out of communication with her. Um, she was extremely distressed about, uh, uh, for my son's safety and welfare and about where he was located. So what did she tell you? Well, she told me that the school that he was sent to uh, in Utah was uh, a, a, a terrible, terrible place and that there were uh, extensive reports and affidavits and documentaries uh, uh, documenting the, uh, the abuse that goes on at this series of schools that are, are run out of, uh, out of Utah. She'd done a pretty thorough investigation for you. Well, she had, and she had been in communication with my uh, mother in Florida, and my mother was the one who actually discovered it when uh, we, she was given the information in the name of the facility. What did she want you to do? Uh, my wife was extremely upset and, uh, and panicked, and uh, she wanted me to get my son out of there um, immediately. I had, uh, I had been talking to uh, an, uh, my uncle, who's also in Florida, for people to look at, but it was uh, about 140 pages, and it, uh, it had an extensive uh, investigative report on the organization known as WASP, WWASP, Worldwide Association of Specialized Programs, uh, run by a man named and founded and run by a man named Robert Litchfield out of Utah, and the allegations of abuse uh, and, uh, and torture of children. And uh, it documented uh, these abuses, these allegations, the multiple, multiple corporate layings, layerings of corporations and, and LLCs and, and structure that was, became very, very uh, opaque and, and very hard to d decipher who was in charge of what. Um, previous uh, court actions against this organization. Uh, it was a very, uh, also their political connections, which uh, have impeded uh, Justice Department uh, investigations because of uh, massive uh, campaigns. Very, very uh, serious and uh, sinister uh, sounding organization from this report. So with all this information, when did you finally decide to go to the I did, and I was talking to my, we also were talking to my mother back in, uh, in Europe, or back in uh, Florida. Oh, um, I am leaving out one, uh, one other organization that helped. Uh, my wife uh, put me on the phone with an Angela Smith from an HEAL organization, uh, which is in uh, Seattle, Washington, and it's a, uh, it's a recovery and a heal organization for uh, victims of, uh, of this abuse. She herself was a victim. She gave me extensive uh, information and additional sources, and I actually t did get to talk to a person. Uh, uh, their headquarters are in Seattle, Washington, and uh, her website is heal at heal-online.org. Um, and she was very... Uh, enlightening and uh, and seemingly very truthful and uh, I was convinced so you made the decision to move on now what